Hello guys, it's Davina, and of course I'm Want More Babies 2015, and I have little Ford, and it is almost his bedtime, but he missed mommy and he wanted to spend some time with me, so I come in here to give him a bottle, I'm going to feed him in his Playtex bottle, and uh, spend some time with him. And yeah, tell you what I've been up to while I'm feeding him. So let me get situated here and get comfortable. Come on, big boy. So, um, let's see. We went, Tippy quit. We went to Kings Island, which is a theme park in um, Ohio um, here. Um, and you know I had a really good time I didn't sunburn thank the good Lord um, we had some funny moments and it, all in all it was really good um, oh my goodness he drank that whole amount almost you that hungry little man my goodness but, um, yeah, uh, it was really fun. It was me and my husband, our son, and his lady. And, um, it was a lot of fun. We went and st spent the night in a hotel and got up the next day and made a day of it in the park. And it was really fun. Um, it wasn't like last year. Last year was a nightmare. This year was... Yeah, it was really good and yeah but um I just whew, so much has been going on I haven't really been buying much for the babies and I don't feel bad because I have a whole nursery full of stuff here for them, but at the same time, it's like I see things and I think, man, I'd like to have that, but at the same time, I see things I want, and for three years, all my money went straight for the babies and not on me, and I neglected myself, and if you guys hear scraping sounds, it's Tippy, he's chewing on a cup, um, so that's what the sound is. Um, but yeah, I uh, spent three years, and all every bit of my money that I got went straight for the babies, on the, for clothes or toys or accessories or everything I I did I spent on the babies, which I don't regret it one bit because I love them. They are my um, comfort. They bring me joy. And I, I love them to pieces. But at the same time, yeah. <laughs> I think you guys know where I'm coming from. You know, I spent so much money on them that I didn't get the stuff I needed. I've been buying makeup and clothes. Repo enough, okay? Um, I have bought like four new outfits. Four or five new outfits um, for me. Uh, makeup that I wanted. Uh, just things like that that you kind of overlook and you don't really think about. But now I feel bad because I look at these guys and it's like, I didn't buy them nothing. And I, I wanted to take one of them with me to Kings Island, but the idea of a stroller or even a, um, what do you call it, baby carrier. I thought about that, but then I thought, man, if it's that hot like it was last year, I can't. I can't. And I wanted to, but... Yeah, I haven't been really able to do that yet. But we want to. Mommy wants to. 
you doing here? I want to do a reborn meetup, but there's really nobody in my area that I know of. There's some further up north, but my husband works all week, and I can drive, but I won't drive that far. So that kind of puts that out of the picture. So, yeah. What's your mama going to do? I'm going to, since um, we're talking, I'm going to pull you guys a little closer here. Focus. And this is Farron. I think it's Farron. Yeah. Little Farron here. Um, I'm going to lay him up here and I'm going to put a different outfit on him. Just because he's been in this for a while and I like to switch it up, don't I? It's mom's babe. It's your mom's big boy. Yeah, Tim is. He at this I mean, he's not my only boy, but he's my only boy that I really do anything with. Because I don't do much with Frederick, he, in case you guys are new to my channel, Frederick is my Ashton Drake, and I love him, but I don't do much with him. Um, just, I, I'm not sure why, guys. I wish I could give you a reasoning behind it, but I can't, because I don't even know. It's just something, um... I, I just don't do very much with him. I mean, he was my first boy, and I love him. And my mom got him for me, so that makes him special. But he's more of a on-the-shelf kind of baby. Is a him, baby? Mama's Ford. And Ford is more of a mommy's boy change him, cuddling, feed him, um, he's just, yeah, I just love this little guy to pieces, and now, he has a twin sister, and I need to do a twin video, but I'm still looking for a, a twin outfit, because I, I want him to kind of match, yeah, Mom want him and him sister to match. Yes or does. But I haven't really had any luck on finding outfits that I like. Plus, like I said, I've been spending all my money on myself. Which <laughs> isn't bad, but... For some reason, it makes me feel bad. It's like when I would buy something for myself when my kid, well, I say my kids because my niece, but when my kids was little, it was like, oh man, that money could have been used for the kids. Still the same way. I buy myself something and I feel guilty because I bought myself something and I feel, I sit there and I think, man, what can I do? Is there, it's always something and. But here he is in this little outfit my husband got for me. It's a footless romper, and I think I'll leave socks off because his little feetsies are so sweet. Anything that has been bought for the babies has been bought or sent by somebody else. Like, um, Shelly sent me all the baby shoes, and I love them. I'm still going through them. I said, I'm going to go through them, and I'm only going to keep certain ones, and then every pair I pull out of the bag I love and I can't get rid of. So, I have to figure out storage, <laughs> which the good part is I am going to begin a bigger nursery eventually. Um, I don't know if it'll be my bedroom now or if it will be um, my son's old bedroom upstairs. Yes, my son managed to hurt his back at his job. So he's kind of hobbling around like a little old man. That's kind of funny. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to have a bigger nursery and I'm going to have more storage. But I still have to figure out how I'm going to do it because 
I know me, once I get a bigger room, I'm going to want more stuff, and then, yeah, so. But we'll figure it out, won't we, baby? What my husband thought about doing is taking our bedroom, which is right, literally right off the nursery. You see the nursery door right there? Our room is directly. And he thought about taking it and letting me have it for the babies and then putting our room upstairs where my son's room was and then kind of make this my store it uh, closet type area put hanging up for the clothes and stuff so I can have more hanging area and I won't have to have so much uh, dresser space and then I can have you know, bigger girls um, medium girls newborn girls and then my boy clothes and then that kind of thing and I thought that was a good idea but I still don't know it's just like I have so much stuff and it's, I literally I feel like what am I going to do oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> but I love it I mean half my boy stuff is stuff that came from my son um, and I, I can't get rid of it. I, well, I probably could, but I don't want to because it, it was my son's and I want to keep it and then pass it if he has children, if he doesn't have children, whatever, keep it for a lifetime, you know, I'm, yes, I would love to be a grandma, but I'm in no hurry. I just turned 43, so I'm in no hurry to be a, a nana anytime soon. Ain't that right, Bumpkin? Up until this year, I thought I wanted another baby. And then everything I went through in March with my health and everything, it just kind of slammed it home that um, no matter how much I may want, I can't do. So, yeah. But I've been rambling on for 12 minutes, and I think that is long enough. So, little man here has had a bottle. And Mommy's held him and changed him. So, I'm going to lay him down, and hopefully he don't wake his sister up. And we can get some sleep tonight. That's right, baby. Yeah, go okay, why? But we're going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. And, um... Hopefully, I'll do, be able to do a collection video soon and show you all the babies that I have in my collection, which is pretty much all of them except for one, which is Philip that I sold. Um, so, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and go. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.